Geeks, what is going on? UTC here, back in your life with another end of the year video. Now this one is about my favorite games of the year. I put out my first Let's Play ever in 2015, and since then I played a ton of different games. I want to talk about some of the best. They're the best that came out this year. If I played an old game and it was great, you ain't gonna hear about it here. We're only talking about new releases, the best of 2015, and I'm gonna do them in the order they showed up on my channel. The first, and it's a game that the developer was nice enough to hook me up with a copy of when it came out, Ark Survival Evolved. It was huge for my channel. Probably seven of my 10 most viewed videos these days are Ark videos, and the early ones really gave me a boost. This is an open world survival game with dinosaurs, and you're about to really see the format of this video. While I'm talking, you have some arc going on in the background, and in a moment, I'm going to shut up and let you watch a real moment from one of my videos. Keep in mind, guys, in the cards section of this video, the little I symbol in the top right corner, you will get links to every playlist I talk about, including arc. That should be there now. Let's take a look. Guys, the Oasis looks cool as shit right now. I don't usually swear on the channel, but dang, look at the way that looks. That is so gorgeous. I'm not going to run through it. Too slow. We'll go around the outside. I've gathered a lot of what we need. I wouldn't say we're done, but uh, I don't know if I want to grind too much more for just this one episode. I might get the rest of it done away from camera. Honestly, such a good game. Uh... I might have to get back to playing it. The second game on my list is another one that the developer was nice enough to just give me. Now that happened a lot this year, uh, but not every game on this list is one that was given to me. Uh, and that really doesn't make too big a difference when it comes to me choosing my favorite games at the end of the year. The second game, the second of my five favorite games to show up on the channel this year was Rocket League. Now, compared to Ark, Rocket League didn't do all that well. I didn't get a crazy number of views. Almost nobody watched it, so if you want to go check out that playlist, uh, there's only maybe four or five videos, but they're really fun. Rocket League is a game where two teams of rocket-propelled cars play gigantic soccer in a dome with a ball the size of a house. Uh, I can see why they didn't think that would be a crazy success, but it was. People played a lot of it, and they loved it, and I played a lot of it, and I loved it. Take a look at one of the videos now. And uh, playlist is in the top corner. I'm gonna have to deal with OT, okay? You gotta have the boost. You gotta have the boost, and I ain't got the boost. So, whatever, I'm going for it anyway. Oh, I'm screwed. Don't take that boost. Do not. Uh, we gotta get back on B, guys. I don't like the feel of this. I don't like the way this. Okay. I lie. I say I get back on D, and then I go. Okay. Oh, they're gonna dump it deep. All right, guys, here we go. It is OT. I'm going to play it smart. I'm going to sit back in this goal. That's a bad bouncer. That's a bad bouncer. I He's got it. Okay, good. That's my ball. My ball right now. No, this is my ball. Yes. Oh, too deep. Too deep. Too deep. Center. 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 Oh, way too back. Way too... Okay, my teammates got it. Don't worry. You can trust these guys. Dumps it in like a boss, like a true boss. I got to trust those two. I was panicking there. Okay, dump that deep. Oh, what? I need this. If I get this boost, I'm going to dominate the play. Yes. Oh, what's going on? Oh, dumps in. This is UTC's ball right here. Centered. For the main. Oh, blocked. Yep. Oh, no. Okay, trust my teammates. They... There's two of them. Get back, boys. Oh, they both missed. Oh, God. The third game on the list is one that cut me to my very core. It is a soul-touching, emotional experience, and as crazy as that sounds for a video game, you won't know it unless you play it, or unless you watch me play it. The playlist is in the top corner, and it is The Beginner's Guide, written by the same writer of The Stanley Parable, a game I loved, but one that was too old to make this list. The Beginner's Guide is a really great game, uh, it made me think about what I do as a YouTuber and the way that I search for validation. The game almost made me cry. Uh, there are four longer episodes. 
because the game can't really be experienced in short little nuggets. So if that's something that interests you, check out the playlist now. And if you're still not sure, watch a bit of the game. If you haven't picked up on it yet, guys, this is a game more about listening than talking. So you're not going to hear any silly voices or dumb jokes from me. We're just going to experience this. Hello, where am I? What is this? Start simple. Hello? Where did this island come from? How do I get out of here? Is what I say happens? Is that a person? How lovely. Where? What's wrong? You look lost. I'm completely out of ideas. When I try to create, I feel empty. I have nothing left to give to my work. The fourth of my five favorite games to show up on my channel in 2015. Keep talking and nobody explodes. It's a game I have been playing a bunch of lately with a bunch of different YouTubers. If you're not familiar, it's incredibly unique. I sit at my computer trying to defuse a bomb well, my friend, some cases 3,000 to 4,500 miles away, as the YouTubers I've played it with live in California and Scotland, sit and look at a bomb manual and try and tell me how to defuse the thing that's about to explode in my face. It is so unique. It's an amazing way to play co-op games with your friends. That developer was nice enough to just give me a copy. They're Steel Crate games. They're Canadian, and they're from the city I just moved away from. This is a game more people need to experience, and if you're not sure about whether it's the kind of game you'll enjoy, go watch my Let's Play of it. Uh, I think I probably have three videos up now. We got another one coming later this week, and it's just really, really fun. It, keep talking, and nobody explodes. One, press the button in the same position you pressed in stage one. I know that. Which was this the second position yeah i got it yeah oh you're all you're so helpful i had thought i had to remember this so now it says a three and we only have to get this right and there's 10 seconds okay. all right press the button with the same level you pressed in stage four which was the last one so that was uh, oh, i have no idea one second was, it's a one uh, i did it uh, oh my you god did it? Yeah. With one second left to go <laughs> oh 1.72 the last game i'm going to talk about is one of the only big releases on my list and it's one of the few big releases to give its fans everything they wanted and a little bit more this year. That game is Fallout 4. I am currently doing a Let's Play of this on my channel. Uh, you got a video a couple days ago, you'll get one in a day or two. And starting on the 2nd, January 2nd, I will be putting out Fallout 4 videos every couple of days. You'll get three a week, every week, until I get to the end of the storyline. Now that's it. For those of you that haven't played the game, are in the midst of playing the game and don't want it spoiled, my Let's Play is of the main storyline. And uh, not a highlight reel video or kills or t tutorials or anything like that. So if you're trying to keep the secrets safe and not have them spoiled, don't watch that. But there are four other playlists in the top corner of your video you can go check out. Fallout 4 has been really great. You've obviously been watching clips of it happening behind me but i'm gonna shut up and let you listen to it too uh, this will play us out so geeks thank you for watching my five watching me play my five favorite games of 2015 and i'm gonna bring you a lot more great ones in 2016. Boy, take me to that son of a bitch that's gonna do it for this one see you geeks in the next video oh we did it okay oh we just made a we might have just made a big choice guys oh I have always played these Fallout games with good karma. Always. But in this one, they're trying to make it a little more subtle. So right there, there was an option that said, find Sean, and there was an option that said, get Kellogg. And I chose revenge over finding my boy. That could be one of those big, big moments, guys. Dogmeat is leading us. Oh, he's leading us inside the city? No. Okay, we are hitting the road. We are hitting the dang road. In search of Kellogg. And you know what? Dogmeat's got a fricked up scent. Oh, oh this is a big moment in the story, y'all.